Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Oh, good. No lessons today. We are going to the cinema now with our teacher. Which teacher? Miss Day. She's our favourite teacher. That's nice for you. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Is the cinema called Picture House? Yes, that's right. I know where it is. Yes, it's next to the school. Two. What film is on? It's a funny film. Three friends go to a town near the sea. I know what it's called. It's called A Nice Holiday. Yes, that's it. Three. When is the film? It is on in the afternoon. Good. Then you can have lunch before the film. What about going to the restaurant opposite the bus station? Okay, that's a good idea. Four. What is for dinner? We can have chicken for dinner. Good. It's my favourite food. Okay, you can have a lot then. Five. Dad, can I go to bed at ten o'clock? No, you have school tomorrow. Please. I said no. I don't want you to be tired for your lessons tomorrow. But I want to watch my favourite football team on TV. Oh, okay then. But don't tell me you are tired tomorrow. Now listen to part two again. One. Is the cinema called Picture House? Yes, that's right. I know where it is. Yes, it's next to the school. Two. What film is on? It's a funny film. Three friends go to a town near the sea. I know what it's called. It's called a nice holiday. Yes, that's it. Three. When is the film? It is on in the afternoon. Good. Then you can have lunch before the film. What about going to the restaurant opposite the bus station? Okay, that's a good idea. Four. What is for dinner? We can have chicken for dinner. Good. It's my favourite food. Okay, you can have a lot then. Five. Dad, can I go to bed at ten o'clock? No, you have school tomorrow. Please. I said no. I don't want you to be tired for your lessons tomorrow. But I want to watch my favourite football team on TV. Oh, okay then. But don't tell me you are tired tomorrow. That is the end of part two.